Hello everyone, Tim and in 2001 here bringing back more Dragon Ropa Trigger Happy Havoc. In our last episode, we just finished up our prologue. And now, in Monokuma told us that the only way to get out of here is if we kill somebody. And now, we are back to where we left off in Chapter 1. <clears throat> you must kill someone if you want to leave. My mind frozen and my breath caught on my throat. Hang on, turn up, maybe. There we go. My mind froze and my breath caught in my throat as I thought about that. I could feel a paralyzing fear slowly making its way through my body, dominating every last nerve. The air hung heavy on me, pressing down like a weight around my neck. It took everything I had just to endure that weight. To survive. But for as heavy as the air felt, it took all to pierce it was her, all it took to pierce it was her sharp words. And so, what are you gonna do now? Hey, hey, just standing around and glaring at each other. Her pointed comment was directed at everyone in the room. He'll just pull us all back to reality. <laughs> right, she's right. Listen to me. Sometimes even if you're nervous or afraid, you just have to step forward. Forget the simple fact. I, I can't forgive myself. I'm so ashamed. You hear me? Please, someone hit me. I can't forgive myself. Somebody hit me. Punish me. Jesus. If you have time to yell about it, you have time to do something about it. However. However, but perhaps, but what is the mission exactly? Stupid. Idiot. No, do it. Look for a way out. Duh. What the? I might tell you to uh, find whoever was controlling that stupid bear and beat the hell out of him. But, but, but before we all do that, maybe we should take a look at the handbook. It's probably best to check out the school regulations Monokuma mentioned before doing anything else. This is fine. True, if we stumble around with no clue what the rules are, something like that might happen again. Shit. Alright, so but, then... Fine, Let, let's hurry and check out the stupid rules already. Makoto Nayegi. After turning on my e-handbook, the first thing that appeared was my name. So, just like Monokuma said, the owner's name showed up front and center. Then from the main menu that popped up, I selected the school regulations icon. An itemized list appeared on screen. It was the school regulations. In other words, the school... The war... <laughs> In other words, the rules began being imposed on us all. Students may reside with the, in the school. Leaving campus is an unacceptable use of time. Nighttime is from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Some areas are off limits at night, so exercise caution. Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope's Peak Academy at your discretion. Violence against Headmaster Monokuma is strictly prohibited, as is destruction of surveillance cameras. Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate, unless they are discovered. Additional school regulations may be added as necessary. Feeling a slight dizziness, I raised my face up from, up from the screen. As I looked around, I saw the same stormy expression on everyone else's faces. Stop this is bullshit! What kind of rule? What the hell kind of rules are these? I'm not gonna let them control me! Well then, why don't you just wander around the school without the care in the world and see what happens? Personally, I would love to see what happens when someone breaks one of these rules. However... However, if... But if he got punished like what we saw before, I don't think there'll be a respawn waiting for him. Yo. I... Ever since I was a kid, I grew up my old... Older brother pounding this in my head. When a man makes a promise, he has to keep it, even if it kills him. And... So what? What? I made a ton of promises that I still have to keep, so that's what. Piece of shit! So I can't afford to die in here. <sighs> None of that makes sense to me, but you are saying you will follow the regulations? Is that it? That's true. Oh, uh, well, yeah, I, I guess you're right. Um, hey, um, I have a question. For school regulation number six, what, is it, what do you think it means exactly? Anyone who kills a fellow student becomes blackened will graduate, unless they are discovered. 
You're talking about the second half, right? Where it says, unless they're discovered. I was wondering about that myself. It's saying that if you want to graduate, you'll have to kill someone without anyone finding out it was you. But why? Why do we have to do that? I don't see any reason to worry about it. Just worry about following the rules that they've been explained to us. Such ignorance. Such ignorance. I, frankly, I don't want to hear anything from someone who waits for others to decide what to do for them. <laughs> don't jab at me. Give me a break. Give me a break. It, it's more like a full-on stab. Well, for now, let's forget all about that silly. Uh, let's forget all of that silly junk about murders or whatever. Okay. Okay. Now that we know the rules, let's start exploring the school. Drew, we have to find out exactly where we are. Is there any way out? What about food and supplies? You understand? There are tons of questions we need to answer. Let's do it. Damn straight! Let's all start looking around! I'll be going alone. What? What? Why? That's a pretty stupid idea, don't you think? Hmm. Hmm. Someone might... Someone here might already have started thinking about murdering one of us. Are you saying we should just stand around with them in our midst and make it that much easier for them? Hold on a second! Wait, hold on a second! That would never... What? Don't bother saying it couldn't happen. You can't deny that possibility. That's why y'all seized up with fear and that graduation rule is made clear to you. <laughs> Am I wrong? Uh, um, but... <laughs> so, I'm simply acting in accordance with what I think is best for me. Just hold on. Hold on! Like hell, I'm gonna let you run off and do whatever you want. What? Out of my way, Plankton. What? I'm not Plankton from Spongebob, is that what the fuck you're trying to say? What, what the fuck's that supposed to mean? Such ignorance. One tiny bit of plankton drifting across the sea. So minuscule, so insignificant, that it couldn't possibly have any kind of influence on the boundless ocean. I'm gonna dead. kick your ass! Stop it! We shouldn't fight! What? The fuck you just say? You some kind of goody goody little bitch? You wanna throw down Who do you think you are talking to me like that? You think of my fucking dad or something? No, I, I wasn't- FUCK baby. YOU! Wham! Oh, fuck! He punched me! And I flew back in a heap! Oh my god! It was like something straight out of a comic book, just... <laughs> Cue the Goofy scream! <laughs> Yo -ho 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 -y! <laughs> I didn't even see the punch coming, it was just suddenly right there in my face. One second I was standing, and the next I was soaring through the air. I don't know. Uh, now that I think about it, maybe I kind of forgotten. The kind of people I've been trapped here with. My common sense had just stopped functioning. Being around with these ultimates had blown my fuses. So I guess I shouldn't be surprised it led to something as absurd as this. But I just lost track of that sense of reality. That was my last thought as my consciousness started to fade. Before it finally cut out completely. When I opened my, finally opened my eyes again, what I saw was... Whoa. Huh? Where am I? As if it had become part of my daily routine, I woke up in yet another room I'd never seen before. Okay, so, where am I now? You have access to the handbook menu? You can use, it. use this to check a variety of information as you play. Open the handbook by pressing the F1 key. Either that or pressing the 1 key. You can use this menu to check the school regulations and character info in the report card section. At certain points, map and truth bullets may not be available. You can also save and load game data under the system section. Finally, press the two. The I'm gonna say two key because you can press the either the F1 or F1, F2, one, two key to do this. Finally, you press the F2 or two key to review the transcript. This records all pertinent info, so use this to review comments from everyone involved. Let's see. I'd rather not sit and worry about trying to press F1 to open up my stinging menu. So, no, I'm not going to do that. Um, see, here we can just save. Like that. And now, now if I reload this, if I reload the game, it'll send me right back here. Look at this. This would appear to be the bathroom. 
Rattle, rattle. Huh? It's not opening. I guess it's locked. Looks like there's something in the drawer. It's a toolkit. Must be brand new. It's still in the shrink wrap. I don't really need it right now, so I'll just leave it here. Okay. Uh, what's this? Uh, there's a piece of paper hanging up on the wall, which says... Now from Headmaster Monokuma. Each room's lock has been designed to completely protect against tampering or lock picking. Remaking an individual room key is tri quite troublesome. So, oh, frick. Remaking an individual room key is quite troublesome, so make sure you not to lose yours. Your room comes furnished with a shower, but please know that the water is turned off at night time. Also, the bathrooms of the girls' room include a lock of their own. Finally, we prepared a small gift for each of you. For the girls, a sewing kit. And for the boys, a tool kit. The sewing kit includes a map of the body's vital organs. One stab will do the job, girls. For the boys, we, be we believe a strong blow to the head with any of the tools should be ample. Don't think, just feel, and let's all enjoy ourselves. Poo hoo 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 hoo. Monokuma. <laughs> he just says, he literally just says, poo hoo hoo hoo. <laughs> I called the sheet of paper and threw it into the trash. Stupid Monokuma. <clears throat> just throws it in the trash. Just grabs the lighter and burns uh, the note. This must be the key to the room. My name's written on the keychain. That means it must be mine, huh? And mine, right? Uh, I better hang on to it for now. Okay, so this is my room key. Thank you very much for the room key. What's that? Okay, paintbrush. Some kind of lint roller. I guess we're supposed to clean up after ourselves. Ooh, Mara, come on. Looks like this door leads outside. It's locked. So some of the rooms have locks, huh? I think I'm starting to understand. This room must be sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory. We'll be sleeping, sleeping in class and punished accordingly. This is my assigned dorm room. Someone must have carried me here after I fell unconscious. So that's my question. The next question is, what's everyone else up to right now? So I'm waiting one day to find out. And that's to get out of here. Can we get the area? I rushed out of the room and made by all the others. But there was someone waiting for me there. It was like something out of an old TV show. Wham! Oh, it's Ono. Sayaka? Sorry. Are you okay? I, I'm fine. I hope you're okay. Sorry about that. She had an embarrassed smile on her face. I stood up slowly. Are you okay, Sayaka? Are, are you hurt? <laughs> you make it sound like it's, it's out. You make it sound worse than it is. I'm completely fine. I know how I look, but I've actually built some pretty strong muscle and good jumping up and down on stage. My voice is starting to hurt for some reason. That's good then. Um, but are you okay? You know, from when Majo hit you? That's true. I got knocked out right there in front of everyone. Guess I get revealed my lack of cool right from the beginning. Makoto! Makoto. I I'm fine. Nothing wrong here except That's for this good. black eye. <laughs> like, literally, like, do I not have a black eye or bruise where he punched me? He punched me right in the face. Just take my mouth. Oh, God, he, he... God, he knocked out one of my teeth. <clears throat> oh, my God. <laughs> like, do I not have, like, a black eye or something? Like, he punched me hard. <laughs> oh, good. I was kind of worried. Hey, uh, Mikado, uh, what's that blood dripping from your mouth? Huh? Oh. <laughs> just checks. He just... He's just like, ugh. Why do you have a black eye? Oh, oh. Do you have any steak? Do you have any, like, steak to can put on this? Thanks. By the way, uh, what are you doing here? Uh, um... Uh, actually, I came to get you. You came to get me? Um, listen. Well, if you really are feeling better, I was hoping you can come to the dining hall. The dining hall? You see. After you got knocked out, everyone decided to go do their own thing. We decided it would be more effective if we split up to investigate. So we agreed to get later 
to get together later on and talk about what we each find out. So does that mean it's almost time to get back together? If that's what's going on, then of course I'll go with you. That's good. Good! I'll go on ahead and meet with you at the dining hall. Then what? Okay. Race ya! <laughs> that's always the dining hall. You can see the forks in my knives. This must be the dormitory dining hall. Um, it looks pretty clean, so that's good. Uh, I guess it's not really important right now, with us being prisoners here and all. Yeah, that's true. Nobody was there waiting for us. We don't really have much choice. I guess we should just wait here for now. <laughs> um, okay. Let's wait here. Uh, you heard that? Like I said, I'm psychic. <laughs> Come on, I'm just kidding. Seriously, I have amazing... I just have amazing intuition. Is it really just intuition? It's kind of sudden, but I know that he... But he I know, I know, it's kind of sudden, I know, but here comes the tutorial! Right now, I like to talk about reactions. You're gonna be talking to Psyche, right? Well, you're talking to her, some purple words are gonna appear. Here's how they work. Okay, so you just use the right mouse button to click on that. Oh, are you familiar with reactions? Well, just in case, let me explain. When purple words show up, you'll... You press the right mouse button, you'll go into reaction mode. At this point, you can use the WASD keys... Either the arrow keys or the W, A, S, and D keys to make a selection, and you use the left mouse button to confirm it. And also, when it, also when it comes to that dialogue, you can review whatever you talked about to look for more info. Talk to someone about things like this is called a reaction. Okay, do your best to, <laughs> to enjoy your ever important school life. Ah, so, yeah, have you gotten ahead and used it already? Well, that's just wonderful. Make sure you keep in mind as the story keeps moving forward. I must have known that he played hey, some um, of this. By the way, Mikhail? Huh? What is it? Um, well, it's just... I know this is kind of the... I know this is kind of continuing the self-introduction scene, but I want to ask you something. Continuing our self-introductions? Uh, um, kind of got cut off before, but I had a question I wanted to ask you. I just choked there for a second. <laughs> Psych, I want. This, I want to, uh, Psych, I want to ask, ask me something. I wonder what it is. Now I'm really curious. I'm just leans forward. Tell me. <laughs> you don't need to tell me. Um, oh, it's um, just this. Uh, oh, it's still. Hey. What do you want to ask me? Makara, did you happen to go to Blackbird Junior High? Where you may be in class too? Y yeah, actually, I, I was. Ah, I knew it! I went there too! I was in class four though. Do you remember me? Do I remember? Even back in middle school, she was a celebrity with all kinds of ultimates surrounding her. How could I forget? It's almost a passing as her question was. That she, that she remembered me. We never talked to each other, but somehow she still knew who I was. Hey, um... Hey, uh, are you okay? Oh yeah, I'm just surprised is all. I wouldn't have so thought you might rem remember me. <laughs> we went to the same school for three years, of course I remember. I'd be an idiot if I didn't. Well, that is true. But there were a lot of students on our grade, right? Plus, I'd never been the type of person to ever really stand out. I'm at your average at everything, and my ho all my hobbies are totally normal. You normal would call me boring. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> You're so strange. Strange? That's. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Start getting the. Like, ah! Oh my god! Oh my god! Saga, just shut up! <laughs> that somehow a serious smile of hers made my heart go calmer. Her smile was the nicest smile I've ever seen. That's good. Anyway, I'm really glad that I know somebody here. Ah. Talking to you has made me feel a lot better about all this. You're amazing, Makoto! No, I'm really not. I'm nothing compared to all your ultimates. <laughs> but you're the one who helped me find my courage again. I need those ultimate students. Thank you for saying that. Okay. And to think you've helped me out, I gotta become your ultimate assistant. Huh? My assistant? <laughs> I'm your assistant now. Get used to it. 
I'm mean, gonna help you out as much as I can, so let's get out of here together. When she says something like that, it just gets me pumped up. <laughs> she just, Mikado just turns into the Incredible Hulk side. He's like, uh, Mikado, what's the, what are you doing? <laughs> right. <laughs> Sorry, I, I thought I had something in my mouth. Um, which is nice, but still. Everyone else is still late. Besides like that, I don't even know what time it is right now. Must be a clock around here somewhere. Well, how about that one right there? Mm, so, what time is it right now? What? 7 o'clock? At night? Uh, um, you're unconscious for a pretty long time. I see. Without well, being able to look out a window, I've lost all sense of time. If I had to stay in this place for too long, I might just go crazy. Hey, um, I can't believe no one's here yet, but I'm pretty I'm sure they start showing up soon. Almost like he timed out. Taka threw open the dining hall doors right as soon as I could say that. Hey! Hey, Makoto! Saiga! So the two of you got here first, huh? How unfortunate. Too bad. I, I was sure I'd beat everyone here. <laughs> Guess that means I just don't have enough fighting spirit yet. Got it. Well, I won't give up! Next time, I swear I'll win no matter what it takes! Justice will always prevail! <laughs> That's a bit much, don't you think? Soon after that, everyone else came strolling in one after another. After a few minutes, everyone had gathered into the dining hall. Okay, it looks like everyone's here. Time to start the meeting! Let's all go around and share what we found out during our respective investigations. The sooner we find out what's going on, the sooner we get out of here. Just spit on my screen. Just spit all over Hold it. Hold on a sec. What are you talking about? Uh, what's wrong? Hmm. What about, uh, what's her name? They know the silly hair girl. <gasps> oh, oh, uh, yeah, Kyoko. Hmm. What about her? Aww. She's not here. <clears throat> what? Do another look around the dining hall. Sure enough, she was nowhere to be seen. I wonder where she went. Has anyone seen her? Everyone just shook their heads. No, 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 no. <laughs> Wait, so nobody's seen her? Why hasn't Kyoko shown up yet? Could it be because? Yes, indeed. Stabbing, strangling, bludgeoning, crushing, hacking, drowning, igniting, how you do it doesn't matter. You must kill someone if you want to leave. It's as simple as that. <laughs> The rest is up to you. Give it all your, give it your all to achieve the best outcome in the worst way possible. Is it possible? Was she really? No, no. I'm just overthinking things. <laughs> Darn it, Gilgo! You're really gonna be late like this on the first day of school? Not only is she late, she didn't tell anyone that she'd be late. A most unbecoming personality trait. Come on. You're being a real jackass right now. You know that. Well, what do you want me to do? Punctuality is everything. You hear me? Now then, I declare that the first session of the Hope Week Academy the briefing means has begun. Um, uh, Mikado? Actually, first of all, I talked enough. Maybe we should listen to what everyone else has to say. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> you know. What's up? I feel like I've really become your personal assistant, don't you agree? I may not be the best assistant in the world, but I'll give it everything I got. No, you've already done so much as my assistant. Jesus Christ. Oh. Oh, so do I just talk to Saika? Um, okay, so since we're going to talk about this, let me lay out what's been going on. I won't swear to investigate different parts of the building, but... You see... Byakuya and Taka went off on their own, so they... <laughs> and so did Kyoko. I want to try to find some clue. To, I want to try to find some clue as to who's responsible for imprisoning us here. Unfortunately, I made no I made no such discoveries. It's all from me. It, really? That's it? If I uncovered anything, I naturally I would have been more to say, uh, more to say, but I didn't, so I don't. R right. Uh, understood. I spent some time looking around the dormitory and... Listen to me! There I made the first discovery of the century. 
We found that there was actually one, one room for each person. <clears throat> oh my god, voice just, my voice just went cracking all over the damn place. Well, yeah, I figured that one out before anyone else. Yeah. Each star has an, already has a nameplate on it, so I guess all the rooms have been assigned already. Huh. And each room with in each room key was attached to a keychain with the owner's name precision it, precision etched onto it. Which confirms that the room I was in earlier was is in fact my room. And plus. And you hear what I tell it found out that all the rooms are totally soundproof. Um your next door neighbor could scream their lungs out and you wouldn't hear a thing. <laughs> well, each room also has a private bathroom, which could also lock. But it looked like there was only locks on the bathrooms and the girls' dorms. But when I checked my bathroom door, it definitely seemed like it was locked. It's weird, I should double check that later. Hey, come on! Okay, uh, so they got a bunch of rooms that are ready for us. They're assuming we're gonna be here for a while. Quiet down and listen! Well, better to worry, ha have than ha- <laughs> Well, better to have than have not! At least we're not to worry about surviving like wild animals. <laughs> That can't be all you have to report, can it, Mr. Honor Student? Got it! That's all for my report. Let's move on to whoever's next. <coughs> um, you see. Looks like Leon, Ch Hero, Hero, Junko, and Chihiro were all grouped up together. <laughs> we all went up uh, down the School, double checking the windows on all the hallways and classes. We wanted to see if there was any more, get any more of those, any of those metal plates to come off. What happened was huh. nothing, not a damn thing. We couldn't, we couldn't get a single one to budge in a little bit. What should I do? There isn't any hope of escape anywhere. The school is totally cut off. This is bad. This sucks. Bad, bad, it bad, really bad, sucks. Bad. It sucks, 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 sucks. What the hell are we gonna do? Hey, come on! Hey, come on! Hey, come on! Calm down! God damn, calm down! You're starting to make me nervous! Um... Okay... You see? Uh... The same goes for Hina, Sakura, and Mondo! Celeste, Toko, and Ifumi were left over so they joined up! We thought... We thought we could find the same... Some way to communicate with the outside. So we went looking all over. Sorry. But we didn't find a thing. Sorry. Yo. We went, I went back to the main hall thinking that we could do something about that giant hunk of metal. What? We were sucker and we both. It wouldn't budge. We hit it with desks, chairs, nothing. <sighs> it was hard. It was hard as, like, metal. Yes, indeed. Well, yes, it is metal. <sighs> anyway, if we're going to get out here, it's not going to be through there. I feel like I just cry, but no, I have to hold on it, hold it in. I have to manage my hydration. So then, I shall tell you what happened next. It has nothing to do with communicating with the outside world, but it's still worth it, worth worrying about. In both the school and dorm areas, there was a set of stairs leading up to another floor. But, but there were gates there, and we couldn't find any way to open them, so we couldn't check them out. <clears throat> in other words. At this point, we're only able to search the first floor. However... We can further assume that there is potentially something above the second floor as well. And if that's the case, there is at least some, a chance that it may lead to a way out. Um, <clears throat> Holy crap, I'm recording for like a half hour. Uh, you see. Let's see. If I am being honest, I cannot see... I cannot see that we... That we acted as one, but that we did nothing as one. We spent the entire time in the gym. Most unfortunate. And that, honestly, I'm not exactly the type of types to go running around in a school like a gaggle of junior detectives. What the hell's wrong with you? What the hell are you thinking? Just sitting around in the gym the whole time. <laughs> well, it's not like any of you invited me along. No one say, hey, come with us. I blame you for leaving me out. It's your fault. What the... I wanted to go somewhere, you could have just said something. <laughs> Get it? Like you want to go anywhere with a dirty slut. Like you- Oh! <gasps> slut? <laughs> your mind is as thin as your body. 
You make me sick to my stomach. Are you for real? I, I don't even know how to react. How do you say something so awful to somebody you just met? Hey, come on. Hey, come on. All right, guys. Everybody just calm down, okay? All this stress is bad for your skin, you know? Yeah, it sounds like you two are so close now. You're fighting like sisters. I don't think that's what's going on, Saika. Hey, um... So that's what they have to say, huh? I guess I'm the only one left. Um... I want to have a look around the dining hall. All right, I found a fridge in the back of the kitchen, and it was overflowing with all kinds of stuff. That's good. I don't have to worry about food, at least. What? But, sure, for now, but with even all of that, there's 15 of us. How long can the food last? <laughs> you can just eat the sesame seeds or something. Hmm? What am I, a parakeet? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we have to worry about it. All the food gets restocked automatically each day. Um... At least that's what Monokuma said. Huh? You saw him? Okay. Yeah, he came out of nowhere while I was checking the fridge, told me that, and disappeared again. It was so fast, I can't believe someone is moving around with the remote control. That's... Uh, a weaponized toy that can just appear from nowhere. I can't tell if we're supposed to be afraid or not. But... But... It was everything okay? He didn't try like, to eat you or anything? <laughs> eat, eat her? <laughs> what do you mean by that? I mean, when you say eat, what kind of eating are we talking about? Oh. Come on, man! Hey, you bastard! What the hell, Fatty? You're acting like some kind of sleazy drunk dude. Actually, uh, actually, uh, not like there's actually, uh, not like there's a good kind of drunk dude. Hey, hey quit going around, all of you. Are y'all uh, still asleep or something? We're prisoners here. We don't just die any second. <sighs> Shit. She's right. We can't be making stupid jokes right now. We gotta do something or. Voice cut through the noise, interrupting Mondo. You're all, spe you're all spending an awful lot of time yelling and carrying on. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was just gear gear. Uh, let me try that again. You're all spending a lot of time yelling and carrying on. Do you really think you can afford to do so? Have none of you accepted the reality of the situation? No! Kyoko, where the heck have you been? We already started the meeting without you. He didn't say a word. Instead, she just dropped a piece of paper on the table. Huh? What's this? It appears to be a map of Hope's Peak Academy. Uh, a map? What the? Where did you find this? Well. It doesn't matter where I found it. What the heck? It, it does matter. You're totally freaking us out right now. But more important. Never mind that. What's it mean? It would seem. Just look at it. The building we're in right now is laid out precisely the same way as Hope's Peak Academy. So what you're saying, this this really is Hope's Peak Academy? It's true. Well, in terms of its construction, yes. But it looks like it had a number of strange renovations done to it. Renovations? However... I don't know all the details yet. All I found out was details about the first floor. Um... But then this is... This really is Hope's Peak. Can I get, get that thing in some other place? So stupid is I impossible. This is where the country's future leaders want to come and learn. But, but if this really is Hope's Peak, where are all the other students? Hey, come on, guys. Let's just stop talking about all of this, you know, negative stuff. But aren't you worried? Things don't look good. Yo. Worried? What's there to be worried about? I mean, this is all planned out, right? The people in charge of Hope Peak put this all together, right? <laughs> Man, if I got stressed every time something like this happened, I have that to shoot in my mouth. You know? You know, yeah, good things come to those who wait, right? So we just got to chill and everything to work itself out. <laughs> What's your problem? Why are you laughing? What's so funny? <laughs> I'm just happy that it's all. It seems splitting up to investigate what's a good idea at all. <sighs> Haven't you been listening? Looking around was a total waste of time! We didn't find a way out. Didn't find who was behind this. We still have no idea what's going on! Oh! Huh? Is it not crystal clear to you what is going on? Are you okay with this? Is, is it... It is perfectly obvious we have been imprisoned in some secret location with no way out.
No one, none of us had any response to that. We didn't want to accept that reality, but it was staring us right in the face. <laughs> you didn't have to go and say that. I was trying not to think about it. <clears throat> no way out. Oh, yeah. No way out. We're trapped here. What are we supposed to do? It's very simple. If you want to leave, you just have to kill. Stop it! Don't even joke about that. Um, everyone just calm down, please. We need to stop and think about what I have to do from here. Seems like... Seems like there's got to be something we can do. <laughs> All we can do is adapt. Adapt to our living our lives here from now on. That's... Live here? Is, is that... Are you saying we should just accept it? Do you understand? Do you understand? A lack of adapt adaptability is a lack of survivability. Survival is not based on those who... On who is the strongest or the smartest. It comes down to who those who can adapt. Actually, actually, as someone who has come out on top more than once, I have a suggestion. What? Uh, uh, what do you mean? Hmm. We are all understand that we are trapped here, which means we will all be spending the night. However, you all remember the rule regarding nighttime, right? Nighttime is from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Oh shit, I've been recording forever. Uh, some areas are off limits at night, so please exercise caution. Sleeping anywhere in the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class will be punished accordingly. Let's see. So regarding this nighttime, I think we need to add a rule of our own. What do you mean? <laughs> well, the other nighttime should be prohibited altogether. School regulations do not actually tell us to go out at night. Not to go out at night. Have I right to make that official? Huh? But why? Are you okay with this? Are you okay with this? The things are the way the things are now. Every night time night comes, we will all start to get worried and anxious. We will all be afraid someone might try to come and kill us. What? We try to worry about the night at the night for no who knows how long. It will wear us down in no time. I see. So you're suggesting we limit our So we you're suggesting we limit our activity at at night as a kind of preventive measure. Indeed. However, like the other rules, nobody can be forced to comply. We all have to agree to follow it. What can we do? I see what you mean, but I can I, I think I can agree to that. It's like that little goth lady, Lodia, Lolita said. That's something like that. We're just gonna self-destruct. Listen to me. That's all the men here. I agree to comply. What? Huh? Hey, you can't just decide to speak for us. This is fine. This is fine. So when everyone is in agreement, good. <laughs> and if you excuse me. Huh? Oh, hey, where are you going? Let's see. It's almost night time. I want to take a shower before it arrives. I hope you are well. So goodbye. Move with pure elegance, Celeste left the dining hall. Her behavior seemed so natural, I couldn't just imagine anyone trying to stop her. Um, so I guess it's pretty obvious where we, we go from here. We'll be spending the night, it looks like. <gasps> Adaptability. Hmm. So, Mr. Chairman, what next? One person already left. Um, well, then, what do we say call it end to today's meeting? You understand? Like you said, it's almost night time anyway. We can reconvene first thing tomorrow morning. Huh? Do we really have to stay the night here? What can we do? We don't have a choice. We can't go on go long without getting some sleep. This so we just have to give up. <sighs> That's all fine and good for today. But what do we do tomorrow? So in the end... Our only option is to split up and look around again. To let everyone know if we find anything. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Aww. Now we're done for today? Good, I'm exhausted. Heavy movements, everyone head off to the private rooms. Um, Mikado, are you ready to call it a day? I'm about to cut... The goddamn call it recording in a little bit. Goddamn, not an hour long into this goddamn episode. Yeah, let's go.
Is this really what I'll be saying for the foreseeable future? Oh, that's right. I should check the bathroom one more time before I go to bed. Only the girls' bathroom should have locks on, right? Alright, let's open it up. It's no use. It really is locked. Wrong! Not locked! <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> Jeez! Talk about an overreaction! Look, it's like you just saw a ghost or something! Wawa? Wawa? Like some kind of raw hot bear ghost? <laughs> what are you doing here? What? Makoto Nae! This is super duper majorly bad! So bad it's almost magical! Ultra magical awful awful attack! Uh -huh. In point of fact, I acknowledge the pro that the bathroom in your frame has a in your room has a problem with the door frame. So the reason it won't open is because it's locked. The door just doesn't fit. Hey, um... you see the notice? What? You can't read? Can't you read? The boy, the bathrooms in the boys' rooms don't have locks. Yeah. I mean, a lock in a boys' room is kind of pointless, don't you think? Ba bam, ba bam, ba bam. <laughs> no, what is he doing? Mocking a heartbeat? <laughs> well, it's not that kind of. It's not like it's pointless. I guess so I'm no expert on the birds and the bees and all that. Listen up! Anyway, there's a little trick to open this little peculiar, particular ill-fitting door. That's what I'm that's what I'm here to teach you. Okay, ready? All you have to do is turn the door knob, then lift up while you pull. Yes indeed! Go ahead, give it a try! Turn the knob, lift up the door while I pull. And do that, the door open without a problem. <laughs> See? It opened right up! <laughs> Isn't that crazy though? Your door is the only one that doesn't fit quite fit right. <laughs> you're supposed to be the ultimate lucky student, right? But it looks like you're not lucky at all! <laughs> bye bye! Bye bye! Anyway, I don't fit. I certainly don't feel like being here anymore. Bye! <laughs> hey, wait! Damn it. Dong Ming Pong. Oh. Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. Okay. As such, it is officially night time. Okay. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Looks like it's night time. We all promised we wouldn't leave our rooms now. All I can do is try to get some sleep. Whilst I'm mumbling to myself, I collapse into bed. My eyes closed almost immediately. It's not that I was ready for bed exactly. I was just utterly exhausted. It was as if I spent an entire day staring at the TV watching movies. Some kind of illusion where I've been tossed into some made up, into a fade up, a made up fantastical world. Yeah, that feels about right. There's no easy way to just accept the situation we've been suddenly dropped into. So this is how the curtain closed on my first day at Hoax Peak Academy. Soon enough, I was asleep. Would it be... Would it be too much to hope that when I woke up, I'd realize it was all a dream? It's kind of lame that as far as endings go, but uh, I'd be fine with that. Actually, that'd be the best. Mana Kuma Theater. Oh boy. In any normal school, Mr. Monokuma would be kind of uh, would be a kind teacher. But when I think with that about what's coming up, I'm just so, so full of pride and joy. Our ceremony earlier was uh, today was absolutely splendid. Thank you all very much. Remember that you all stood the host that you had me and tried to refine your ideals. I swear to you, I will send you all off into a new Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! Apparently it's morning, but thanks to the total lack of windows, there's no way to know for sure. Anyway, what should I do now? Maybe we should go find Saika, and we can figure out where to go from here, here together. 
She did say she's my assistant now. Okay, it's decided. I'm going to head to her room. With a newfound determination, I left my room. Alright, uh, okay, I'm going to stop right here. Uh, man, this episode went on for longer than I expected. Uh, anyway, uh, like and subscribe if you want to see more. I'll see you guys next time where we'll head over to Psychus' room and talk to her just to, just to hang out with her, chat around, mess around, you know. Hope. Anyway, uh, like and subscribe if you want to see more. I'll see you guys next time.